Okay, uh, continuing on with the entrepreneurial series, uh, I think I might have mentioned that I was reading the Steve Jobs bio biography, uh, and uh, I guess he was quite temperamental, uh, could do things. And every effective entrepreneur I've ever met, if you get feedback from other people, uh, they will say, geez, that guy is such an asshole, or she is such a bitch. And I pretty much, if I hear though a person described like that, and they're an entrepreneur, and they're entrepreneurial in a field where I am curious about it, like if they're a chiropractor or teaching chiropractors or in an you know alternative healthcare field, and they're being effective, okay, they've got a company that's working, uh, I go out of my way to meet them, because if you're going to start your own company, if you're going to be an entrepreneur. Things have to be your way, your way or the highway, as they say. And people will look at you and they will say, geez, what an asshole. But if Steve Jobs wasn't an asshole, we would not have, I would not be talking to you on this computer, right? Yeah, my Mac, I wouldn't be able to travel with my iPad, and my iPhone would be uh, nowhere in sight. Uh, he's linked us all together, and he was temperamental and he screamed at people, and he got rid of people that didn't work, and uh, had a lot, I mean, it talks about these retreats that he would take his execs on. He would take them to Hawaii. Now, that's okay with me. <laughs> I like Hawaii. Yeah, we spend a lot of time there ourselves. But uh, just to give you a heads up, if you're going to be an entrepreneur, uh, you're going to be called all kinds of names. If you're out there and you want people to like you, this is probably the biggest danger of all. Um, oh, I don't want to fire them. They're so nice and they like me. Uh, I don't really think they're really, you know, being a saboteur. And I, I'm spending, it's seemingly a, a fair amount of time on that. But it only takes one, what do they say, one rotten apple to spoil the whole bunch. It only takes one person going in a counter direction. Uh, we went, we gave a presentation to the Organization of American States, and we do a little communication game uh, where you can't see what's going on, and, and there was a guy uh, who was, I mean, unproductive, and unproductive and making other people unproductive, and he, when we played the game, we switched partners around several times, and I said, who never made it back? Who never completed the process? And he was the only person that put his hand up. Right? And everybody else was kind of surprisedly looking at him. His boss came to me and he said, you know, I don't think we're going to be able to get this contract in. He said, when I worked with this guy a couple of years ago, I fired him. And it, I got so much political pressure that I just, he said, I usually can deal with him. I usually can see his attacks coming. But this one, He's going to make us go through 20 more presentations before he'll allow us to do anything in the human resource department. And even the human resource department, the person can't do it. Right? That's a governmental organization where you can't get rid of people sometimes. That's not the entrepreneur's dilemma. <laughs> www.micpeakperformance.com